Hey everyone, welcome to lesson 10. There is only now. What does that imply? First of all, it implies or it means that the now is the only thing or moment in existence. So it means that the now is not just this thin slice of creation or of reality within or between, in between this chunk of past and this big chunk of future. It's actually the mother of all experience. It's actually the mother of all times. It's the mother of past. It's the mother essence of future. It's the mother essence of parallel realities, if you want to get into that kind of stuff. It literally is the mother essence, the mothering essence of all these things. It's the presence itself. And actually, past and future are projections of the now. They are projections of the present. So there's never actually been a past or a future. There has literally only been now. And understand that this is somewhat of a hard concept to grasp, at least mentally. But it is kind of helpful or crucial even to become familiar with the now and what about it is true and what about it is not true. Because I'm sure by now some of you are familiar with now kind of teachings because it took the world by storm about 10, 20 years ago. And uh, things like mindfulness. But I'll make a few distinctions to make it really clear as to what it is that this lesson teaches and shares and to make it really specific and to make it, in my opinion, way more effective. Because again, what I include is the idea of it already being now. So that it eliminates as quickly as possible any doubt in your mind that there could ever be a potential moment or a potential thought or a potential feeling that is not already now, that's not already perfectly, perfectly present. So again, this whole chapter is about going from doubt, being introduced to presence, but still sort of doubting it, sort of recognizing it, to actually from that recognition of the presence, of the truth of your being, of your true self, to enter into a realm of conviction. And so this lesson 10 sort of recaptures what we've already been speaking about in this chapter, but from a different angle, from a time point of view, from a now point of view, to just anchor in even more that conviction that what you're seeking for is always already perfectly present.